Today, Caillou and his mommy were going to do some gardening. What are you looking at, Caillou? There's a caterpillar. It's eating a lot of that big leaf, mommy. And it's only a tiny caterpillar. Well, it's a tiny caterpillar now, but soon it will be a big, strong butterfly. First, it needs to eat as much as it can. Caillou looked closely at the caterpillar, but it was so tiny, he didn't understand how it could possibly turn into a butterfly. What are you doing, Caillou? Caillou's friend Sarah was peeking at him through a gap in the garden fence. I'm trying to look at this tiny caterpillar, but it's too small. We can use my magnifying glass. What's that? A magnifying glass is something you use to make something small look big. Caillou looked through the magnifying glass and laughed. It made Sarah's face look much bigger. <laughs> Caillou liked seeing the caterpillar through the magnifying glass. He could see all its tiny legs moving. I have an idea. Let's play Jungle Explorer. Caillou thought this was a great idea. He got down on his hands and knees and started exploring. Wow! A great big jungle monster! Caillou looked at the huge butterfly. It was so colorful. It's as big as a bird. It must have eaten lots and lots of leaves. Caillou wanted to keep looking at the butterfly, but it flew away. Come back here, butterfly. The jungle is much thicker there. You can't get through it, Caillou. If I can't get through it, I'll go under it. Caillou bent down as low as he could and crawled deeper into the garden. Caillou saw the butterfly again in the distance. It was on top of a ferocious lion who was sleeping soundly. I have to be careful not to wake up the sleeping lion. The lion woke up with a roar and scared away the butterfly, which flew off deeper into the jungle. I've got you now, butterfly! The loud rumbling in the sky startled Caillou, and it startled the butterfly, too. What was that? Caillou was very frightened and ran back out of the jungle as fast as he could. Sarah! Sarah! Mommy, Sarah, did you hear that loud noise? Don't worry, Caillou. It was just thunder. That means it's going to rain soon. But it scared away my butterfly. That's okay, Caillou. Look, the caterpillar from this morning has made a cocoon. Mommy showed Caillou a jar with a cocoon inside. Caillou used the magnifying glass to see it up close. What's a cocoon, Mommy? When a caterpillar makes a cocoon, it means it's turning into a butterfly. Wow! Soon I'll have a butterfly of my very own! Wow, Caillou, that's so cool! Caillou had lots of fun exploring the jungle and looking for butterflies. He couldn't wait for the cocoon to hatch so he could play again. Catch the car, Teddy! Caillou has made up a new game. He's rolling his toy cars down a ramp made out of a long board. <laughs> Rosie walks into the room pulling her toy ducky on a string. 
He turns to his little sister and sees that she is wearing a t-shirt with teddy bears on it. No! That's my t-shirt! Take it off! It's mine! <laughs> Caillou is very upset. <laughs> Mommy comes when she hears the shouting. She tries to explain why Rosie is wearing Caillou's favorite t-shirt. Caillou, that t-shirt is too small for you, so I gave it to Rosie. Caillou is so angry, he is not listening to Mommy. It's not Rosie's, it's mine! Okay, okay. Rosie, let's go put on a different t-shirt. Caillou puts on his teddy bear t-shirt, but it's not easy. He has to wriggle and squirm like a caterpillar. Uh, ow! <laughs> too small. Caillou marches around the room with his bare tummy showing. Rosie thinks <laughs> Caillou looks very funny. Maybe he's playing a new game. She runs up to her brother and tickles his tummy. <laughs> Stop that! Caillou knows that the t-shirt used to cover his tummy when he wore it. Caillou stretches out to play with his cars, but his back gets cold and the carpet makes him feel itchy. Caillou goes to his room. He doesn't want to play with the cars anymore. He is too sad to do anything but sit with Teddy. Why did the t-shirt have to get too small? Mommy comes in and sits down beside Caillou. She has a photo album that she opens. Here's a picture of you on your birthday. You look so cute and happy in your teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou looks at the picture and nods. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. Mommy understands why Caillou feels sad. Caillou, I'm sorry I gave your t-shirt to Rosie. I forgot how much you loved it, but now it's yours again. Even if you don't wear it, you can keep it as long as you want. Caillou still loves the t-shirt. It's so soft and cozy, but he knows he has grown too big to wear it. Caillou looks down at Teddy. Suddenly, he knows what to do. I'm going to give it to Teddy. Good idea, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy both smile as Caillou takes off his favorite t-shirt and puts it on his teddy bear. Rosie comes into Caillou's room to find Mommy. Look who's wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> Teddy's happy! Me too! Caillou hugs his teddy bear in his teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou was spending a rainy day at Grandma's. He drove his mini car around the coffee room. Beep, 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 beep. Caillou knocked a big book off the table. It fell open on the floor. Caillou was curious about the pictures in the book. He sat down to take a look. I can see you found my photo album. Who's that, Grandma? That's your grandpa and me when we were young. Caillou looked at the photo again. <laughs> That's not you and Grandpa. Oh, this picture was taken a long time ago. Your Grandpa and I used to dance a lot. Caillou turned the page and something fell out of the album. Oh, it's our blue ribbon. The night that picture was taken, there was a big dance contest. And this is the ribbon your Grandpa and I won. Wow, first prize. Do you want me to show you how to dance? Yes, I can win first prize, too. Grandma puts on some music. 
this was one of our favorite songs. Caillou hadn't heard music like this before, but he liked the quick rhythm. Look, Grandma, I'm dancing. Caillou <laughs> hopped from one foot to the other. That's good, Caillou. Here, take my hands. Caillou loved dancing with Grandma. He was having a lot of fun. All you have to do is listen to the music. Grandma showed Caillou some complicated steps. Caillou tried to follow and stumbled. Caillou jiggled his hips from side to side. I think you just made up a new dance. And for being such a good dancer, you win first prize. Grandma pinned the blue ribbon onto Caillou's shirt. Hi, you two. It looks like someone's been getting dance lessons. Grandma showed me how. Caillou started to dance for Grandpa. That's great! Grandpa took Caillou by the hands and they started to dance together. Grandma watched as her two men danced around the room. Just then the doorbell rang and Caillou ran off to answer it. It's Mommy! Look! I got first prize for dancing! He then showed everyone a little dance he had learned. Everyone gathered in the living room for a snack. Mommy, did you know that Grandma and Grandpa used to dance a lot? And they won a ribbon for first prize for dancing. Really? Yes, and Grandma and Grandpa are really good dancers. Grandma showed me their special dance. Grandpa had an idea, and he put the music on again. <laughs> may I have this dance, miss? You may, sir. Together they showed everyone the dance that had won them first prize all those years ago. Today, Caillou and Grandpa were going to the park. Grandpa arrived at Caillou's house carrying a box. What's in the box, Grandpa? You'll see when we get to the park. Caillou was so curious to know what was in the box. On the bus ride to the park, Caillou played a guessing game with Grandpa in order to find out. Is it a soccer ball or a kite? I know, it's a helicopter! <laughs> no, no, no. Caillou loved to watch the boats on the pond. They're having a race! I wish we had a... Oh, wow! A sailboat! I made it myself. Do you like it? Oh, yes! Does it really sail? Soon they had the boat in the water. Caillou was very excited when Grandpa let him do the steering. 
That's right, Captain Caillou. Just be careful. If you turn it too fast, it'll tip over. Can we race with the other boats, Grandpa? Let's get lined up for the start. Hi, Caillou. Emma was a friend of Caillou's from play school. Hi, Emma. Are you going to race too? Yes, my boat is the red one. And that boy over there has the blue boat. I bet we win, Grandpa. Maybe we will. But remember that the most important thing is to have fun. The finish line is the other side of the pond. On your mark, get set, go. My boat is faster than your boat. No, it isn't. Come on. Caillou really wanted to win, so he made his boat go a little faster. Be careful, Caillou. Not too fast. We're winning! Faster! Faster! Oh, no! Caillou's boat ran into Emma's, and both boats tipped over. Oh! That's too bad, Caillou. Better luck next time. Caillou felt bad because he had lost, and he made Emma lose too. Sorry, Emma. Oh, that's all right. I come here with my daddy every weekend, and my boat always tips over. It tips over every week? Yeah, it's hard to keep it going straight, but it's still lots of fun. Yes, it is fun. Let's go over and congratulate the winner. Well done on winning the race. You sailed so well. Thanks. You did well, too. Thanks. See you next time. Are you disappointed that you didn't win the race? I was a little, but I liked being Captain Caillou, even if I didn't win. Caillou and Rosie are playing with Rosie's new toy. They are having lots of fun. <coughs> lots of noisy fun. Every time Rosie pushes a key, the toy makes an animal sound. Stop what they are doing. Caillou, I need to lie down. Can you be a good big brother and watch Rosie so she doesn't get into any mischief? Yes, Mommy. Mommy brings a couple of markers and two big pieces of paper. You and Rosie can draw pictures of the animals instead of listening to the sounds they make. I need you to play quietly so I can rest. Okay. Caillou wants to help Mommy. He wants to be a good big brother. Caillou hands Rosie a marker. We're going to draw now. Caillou starts drawing a giraffe. He works so hard on his picture that he doesn't notice that Rosie is not drawing beside him. Caillou looks around to see where Rosie went. Oh, no! Rosie is drawing on the wall. Rosie, no! Caillou grabs the marker away from Rosie. Uh, no! No, mine! <laughs> Rosie tries to get the marker back, but Caillou holds on to it. Rosie starts to cry. Be quiet! Do you want Mommy to 
don't get mad? <laughs> Mommy hears all the noise. Caillou, I asked you to be a good big brother and watch Rosie, not fight with her. Rosie needs her nap. I'll be right back. Caillou is surprised. Why is Mommy angry with him? He did his best to be quiet and to keep Rosie from doing anything wrong. He doesn't want to be Rosie's big brother anymore. <laughs> when Mommy comes back, Caillou is crying. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy go to the kitchen and fill a bucket with soap and water. It isn't easy being a big brother, is it? Can I help? That would be great, Caillou. Caillou cleans the wall with a wet cloth. He rubs hard until all the marks are gone. Good job, Caillou. Thank you. Rosie has finished her nap and she wants Caillou to play with her. Okay, Rosie. Becoming such a big boy, and you are such a good brother to Rosie. Uh. Caillou and Rosie were in the bedroom playing. They were drawing some pictures. Tree! Yes, that is a tree, Rosie. But trees aren't blue, they're green. Caillou had an idea. He was going to teach Rosie all about colors. Let's draw a picture together. Hmm, I wonder what we could draw. Grandma! Hello, Caillou and Rosie. What are you two doing? Me and Rosie are going to draw a picture together, but we're not sure what to draw. Hmm. What if you have a look out the window? You might find some inspiration. Caillou rushed over to the window. There were so many things. He didn't know where to start. Uh, I don't know what to draw, Grandma. Here's an idea. Why don't you draw everything you see right now? Ice cream! <laughs> yes, and perhaps the ice cream truck, too. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He could draw everything he saw out of the window. Thank you, Grandma! Okay, Rosie, now copy me. Red, red. Green, green. Blue, blue. White, white. That's right! Rosie was so excited. Green! Yeah, just like my dinosaur! That's right, Rosie! Rosie looked very puzzled. There must have been something brown in the room. Can you see anything brown in my room, Rosie? <sighs> you can do it, Rosie! Keep looking! Teddy! Yay! 
Rosie, you did it! Now that Rosie knew all of the colors, it was time to draw the picture. Now let's draw together. Are you ready? Red, yeah! Blue? No, Rosie, the sky is blue, but the trees are green. Bus! Yes, that's a yellow bus. Caillou and Rosie had finished their drawing. Caillou really enjoyed teaching Rosie all about colors. Let's go show Grandma! Grandma, look! Wow! Did you and Rosie draw this together? Yes! I taught Rosie all the colors! <laughs> well, I think my little artists might want to get some ice cream. Ice cream! Yay! Caillou couldn't wait for the ice cream. He was so excited about all the different colors he could choose. After all, he was an artist. Today, Caillou is going to the dentist for the first time. Let's hurry, Caillou. We don't want to be late. Caillou doesn't answer. Where has he gone? Mommy finds Caillou in the bathroom. Caillou, you've already brushed your teeth this morning. Do they look nice, Mommy? <laughs> yes, Caillou, they're beautiful. Now come on, time to go. At the dentist's office, Caillou and Mommy sit in the waiting room. Caillou holds Teddy very tight. Just then, he hears a strange whirring noise. Teddy, you're coming with me to see the dentist, okay? A woman with a friendly smile walks toward Caillou. Hello, Caillou. My name is Linda. Come with me and I'll show you and your Teddy the best way to brush your teeth. Caillou and Mommy follow Linda into a small room. There's a big chair in the middle with a big funny-looking lamp hanging over it. Have a seat, Caillou. Can Teddy sit too? <laughs> of course. Caillou and Teddy sit in the dentist's chair. Linda shows Caillou how the chair can move up and down. <laughs> Linda tilts the back of the chair so that Caillou can lie down. But Caillou stays sitting straight up. Lie back, Caillou. That way, I can get a better look at your teeth. Linda shows Caillou the little mirror that's used to see the teeth in the back of his mouth. She starts the electric toothbrush that turns very fast. That's what was making that strange noise. Now I'm going to make your teeth shine like little stars. Okay. Caillou checks first to see if Mommy is still there. Yes, Mommy is right behind him. Linda brushes Caillou's teeth. Then the dentist comes into the room to give Caillou his checkup. Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Joseph. Wow, you have really nice teeth. Do you brush them every day? Two times this morning. <laughs> when Caillou is ready to leave, Linda gives him a new toothbrush to take home. And you can have two surprises from the box. Two? Caillou examines the items in the box. He chooses a magnifying glass and a ring. 
The magnifying glass is for me, and the ring is for my mommy. Goodbye, Caillou. Bye. It's been a big day for Caillou. Today, he went to the dentist for the first time. Caillou was playing in the park with Leo. They were having so much fun kicking the ball together. Great shot, Leo! Yay! It suddenly started to rain. But Caillou and Leo loved the rain. They began jumping in the puddles. Mommy, look! <laughs> That's some impressive jumping, kids. Mommy saw how messy Caillou had gotten. But you're covered in mud from all the splashing in the puddles. It's time to go home and take a bath. But I want to play some more. You can play in the bathtub, Caillou. Now say goodbye to Leo. Bye, Leo. See you soon. See you later. Caillou wasn't very happy. He wanted to play soccer with Leo. What's wrong, Caillou? I don't want to take a bath. But you've been playing in the mud. It's important to stay clean. But baths are no fun. They're so boring. Well, this one won't be boring. I'll be sure to add lots of bubbles to your bath. And you can play with Ducky, too. Caillou started to feel better. Maybe taking a bath wouldn't be so boring after all. Mommy turned the water on in the tub. She put in some bubble bath. It smelled sweet, like apples. Look at all those bubbles, Mommy! <laughs> Are you ready to get into the bath now? Yes! Caillou wanted to play in the bathtub. He grabbed his tugboat and his ducky. When Caillou was in the bath, he loved playing with all the bubbles around him. Caillou was enjoying his bath time. He loved splashing in the water and blowing the bubbles. What are you going to play in the bath? I'm going to play captain of the sea. Ducky is the captain and this is his boat. Where is Captain Ducky off to then, Caillou? He's going on an adventure. But some of these bubbles are going to be a bit tricky to get through. <laughs> Caillou piled bubbles on Ducky's head and put it on the tugboat. He leaned back to let the bubbles cover his shoulders. Right, let's get cleaned up now. Mommy carefully cleaned Caillou's face and ears. Caillou thought it tickled. <laughs> Do you want to wash your hands and feet? Mommy gently washed Caillou's feet using his soccer ball sponge. <laughs> Mommy poured water all over Caillou's back. He loved how warm the water felt. When Caillou was all clean, he got out of the tub. Mommy dried him with a big, soft towel. You smell nice and clean now, Caillou. Caillou smiled and hugged Mommy. Mommy helped Caillou put on his pajamas. Time for bed now, Caillou. Mommy, can you read me a bedtime story? Of course I can. Caillou chose his big book about animals. Look, Caillou, a duck. It's just like the one you had with you in the bath. Captain Duck! <laughs> yes, Captain Duck. Caillou couldn't wait to play in the mud again so he could take another lovely warm bath. Caillou, Clementine, and Leo were getting ready for Sarah's birthday party. It was a superhero-themed party, and they were all very excited. What superpowers are you going to have, Caillou? I'm going to be super strong with my power belt and gloves. That's really cool. My special headband means I can see in the dark. What about you, Leo? I have new shoes which make me go super fast. 
But we all need capes to be real superheroes. And I'm going to wear this cool mask. Caillou and his friends all made great superheroes. They couldn't wait to show off their powers at the party. <laughs> Caillou, have you seen my handbag? Wow, don't you all look great! Are you superheroes all ready for Sarah's birthday? Yep, let's go! Hold on, Caillou. Don't you mean Super Caillou? <laughs> yes, sorry, Super Caillou. But first, we need to find my keys. I think they're in my handbag, but they've gone missing somewhere. This sounds like a great job for Caillou and his super friends. Yay! <laughs> what a great idea! The super friends began searching the house for Mommy's handbag. They didn't want to be late to the party, but there was no sign of it anywhere. Have you found any clues? Nothing over here, Super Caillou! <laughs> what was that? Was it a bird? Was it a plane? <laughs> no, it's Gilbert! Gilbert, have you seen Mommy's handbag? Gilbert says it's that way. How do you know that? I can talk to animals, too. Let's go! Caillou opened the cupboard door. It was so dark, he couldn't see anything. I'll handle this with my night vision. Wow! Caillou and Leo were amazed by Clementine's superpowers. Caillou noticed something at the bottom of the cupboard. It was Mommy's handbag. There! Now we can go to the party! Wow! Good job, Super Friends! You found my bag! Yep! Caillou was very proud. Oh no, my car keys aren't in here. What? We're going to be late! A clue! I know exactly where we should look. Rosie has the keys. We need to get them back. Don't worry, Super Caillou. I'll distract Rosie using my super speed. Leo used his super speed to make Rosie chase him away. <laughs> she thought he was playing a silly game. You found them! Great job, Super Caillou! It wasn't just me! It was my super friends as well! Caillou loved saving the day with his friends. He couldn't wait to solve another mystery. Caillou was playing with Gilbert. His dinosaur was tied to a long string. Gilbert was ready to pounce, tail twitching. Ready, Gilbert? Caillou tugged hard on the string. The dinosaur went flying through the air. Gilbert jumped up and pounced on the dinosaur, catching it proudly. Yay, Gilbert! You saved me from the dinosaur! Caillou continued to pull the string around the room. chasing me! Get him, Gilbert! Get him! <laughs> Gilbert chased him and finally pounced on the dinosaur again. You got him this time, Gilbert! Snack time, Caillou! You stay here, Gilbert! Caillou went off to have his milk and cookies that Daddy had prepared for him. Gilbert, let's play now. 
Caillou looked around the room and under the cushions. Gilbert, where are you? Caillou was upset. He had told Gilbert to stay and wait for him. Daddy, Gilbert's gone, and I need him for my dinosaur game. Well, Gilbert is not here in the kitchen. Caillou went hunting for Gilbert. He checked in the basement and found his mommy. Hi, Caillou. What's going on? I can't find Gilbert. He was supposed to wait for me. He's probably hiding in one of the bedrooms. Let's play detectives and look for him. Yeah! Mommy and Caillou headed upstairs. A good detective needs to look for clues. What are clues? A clue is anything that will help us find Gilbert. So keep your eyes wide open. Caillou saw a piece of string on the floor in the hall. It was the string from his dinosaur game. Is this a clue, Mommy? That's a very good clue. The string was between two bedrooms, so Caillou picked one and went in to look for Gilbert. In his parents' room, Caillou looked under the bed, then under the chair, and all around the room. He's not in here, Mommy. That leaves your room, Caillou. My room! Looking around his room, Caillou did not see Gilbert. Gilbert, come here! Caillou looked under the bed and found his dinosaur. Another clue, Mommy! You are a good detective, Caillou. Caillou squeezed the dinosaur and it made a squeaky roar. Mommy and Caillou heard a quiet meow. Caillou pulled back the covers on his bed. Gilbert, I found him! Caillou pulled the sleepy cat into his arms. Caillou, Clementine and Leo were at play school. Miss Martin was teaching them all about fire safety. Who knows what a smoke detector is? A smoke detector tells us if there is any smoke in the air. And why is this important? Because if there is smoke, it means there is a fire. That's right, Clementine. Do any of you know where the smoke detector in this room is? Is that it? Not quite, Caillou. That's the fire alarm. If there is a fire, it'll ring loudly and let us all know. Is that it up there? That's right! The smoke detector is the round box on the ceiling with the flashing light. When there is a fire, smoke rises up to the ceiling, all the way up to the blinking box. Then we have to call the firefighters. I'd like to be a firefighter when I grow up! Well, you can tell that to the firefighters when we get to the fire station this afternoon. Oh. <laughs> yeah. When Caillou and his friends arrived at the fire station, they all ran straight to the big fire trucks. Hey there, kids. It's great to have you all here visiting the fire station. Can we have a ride on the fire truck? <laughs> we can later, but there's a lot to learn about fire safety first. Let's head into the station, and you can meet my pal Sparky. He's a firefighter, too. Caillou looked around the station. He saw a big pair of boots, a long coat, and best of all, a shiny red hat. Wow, looks like we've got a real firefighter right here. What do you think, Sparky? Can he join the team? <laughs> As you've already seen, here are all our uniforms, which are very special. Fire is so hot, when we wear these, we're extra protected from getting burnt. Here's the pole we slide down in an emergency to get to the fire truck as quick as we can. 
If we took the stairs, we could trip from all the rushing we have to do. Can we slide down the pole? Well, you sure can. Let's meet the rest of the team first. Coming down! How do you know when there is a fire? Good question, young man. That's what this big computer here is for. The 911 call tells us where the fire is, and the computer tells us how to get there as fast as possible. Caillou and his friends liked learning about fire safety, but Caillou was more excited about having a ride on the fire truck. Is it time to have a ride on the fire truck yet? As long as Firefighter Steve says it's okay. Well, if you're going to be a firefighter, you're going to need to learn how to drive the truck. Everyone was excited to watch Firefighter Steve show off what the fire truck could do, especially Caillou and Leo. First, he showed them the hose for putting out fires. Caillou thought it was much stronger than the hose Daddy used to water the flowers. Then, the other fire officer stood on top of the ladder as it got longer and longer. Caillou watched it go up and down. Fireman Steve saved the best to last. Now, firefighter in training, I'm going to need you to flick the siren switch. What does the siren do? Press the button and find out. Caillou didn't expect that at all. It was a loud noise that would tell everyone that the fire truck was coming. Caillou had a fantastic day at the station. He couldn't wait to be a real firefighter someday. Caillou at the market. Good morning, Sleepy. But Caillou does not want to get out of bed. Look, it's snowing. <gasps> Caillou runs to look out the window. Wow! Can we make a snowman? Let's get dressed first, then we'll see. Caillou tries to pour his cereal, but nothing comes out. There's no cereal! We'll get some at the market. We have to shop for things to make a special surprise oh. cake. A cake? Yay! Caillou puts on his coat and boots. He picks up Gilbert to see if he'd like to come to the market as well. Oh, no. Gilbert, where are you going? Oh. Silly cat! <laughs> Outside, the snowflakes tickle his face. He sticks out his tongue and catches some of them. Can we make a snowman? Yes, Caillou. But we have to go to the market first. When they get to the market, Mommy puts Rosie in the seat of the grocery cart. I want to ride in the cart too, Mommy. Let's go. We have lots of shopping to do. Caillou and Rosie help Mommy find the things she needs. Caillou takes a bag of cookies <gasps> off the shelf. These are good! We're having special surprise cake, so we don't need cookies, too. Aww. Caillou really wants the cookies, but he puts them back. At the checkout counter, Mommy helps Caillou and Rosie get out of the cart. Caillou, please help watch Rosie for me. Caillou holds Rosie's hand. But he's thinking about the cookies. Mm. He lets go of Rosie's hand to go and find the cookies. Caillou! Caillou!
Ryu goes up and down the aisles looking for the cookies. Suddenly, he stops and looks around. He can't see Mommy. Mommy, where are you? Mommy! <laughs> there she is. Mommy looks worried. What happened, Caillou? You went away. No, you went away. She gives him a big hug. I'm very glad we found you. Now let's go home. I know, Caillou, but you're home now. And it's time to make the special surprise cake. But I want to make a snowman. We will make a snowman here in the kitchen. Mommy bakes a cake and covers it in snowy white icing. Hmm. Caillou and Rosie decorate it with candy. The special surprise cake is a special surprise snowman. Caillou and his babysitter are reading a story. But today is a very special day. Caillou, did you know it's Valentine's Day today? This is a day to celebrate love. Caillou thinks about this for a moment. Celebrate love? That's right, Caillou. Caillou has an idea. Caillou decides to give a Valentine's Day present to someone he loves. I'm going to draw a pretty card with hearts. Aw, that's a nice idea. Julie gives Caillou some paper and crayons. Caillou begins to draw hearts as carefully as he can. But drawing hearts is hard, and Caillou is a bit disappointed with his picture. Oh, it's not very pretty. I can help you if you want. I like your hearts, Caillou. What do you think about adding something else to your picture? Hmm. Caillou wonders what else he could draw. Ooh. I know! Caillou draws a big round moon. And all around the moon, he draws lots of kisses in lots of different colors. Your picture is really pretty, Caillou. Caillou is very pleased with himself. Caillou goes into his bedroom and places the drawing in his room. Who is your Valentine's present for, Caillou? <laughs> it's a secret! <laughs> Caillou puts on his favorite shirt. Then he gets a red tie out of Daddy's drawer. Do I look nice with a tie? You always look nice, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou is so excited about his Valentine's Day present that he can hardly sit still. finally comes home, he rushes to meet her. 
Mommy is delighted to see her little boy looking so smart. Who's this handsome young man? Close your eyes, Mommy. Mommy shuts her eyes, and Caillou puts the Valentine's Day surprise into her hands. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> is this for me? I drew a moon because I loved you as big as the moon. Oh, and I love you as big as the moon, too. Well, I love you as big as the moon and all the stars and all the planets. Caillou is sure no one could love anyone more than that. Caillou hurries to put on his fancy clothes. Tonight he's going out with Mommy and Daddy like a big boy. Rosie is staying home with the babysitter. The restaurant is full of people. Caillou holds his daddy's hand and looks around. It's a bit dark in here. Caillou doesn't see any children. He feels so proud to be with grown-ups. Look at the aquarium, Caillou. Caillou runs off to say hello to the multicolored fish. Whoa. Don't run, Caillou. Wait for us, please. Mommy, I can't see anything. Caillou decides to sit on his knees. Caillou, please sit down like a big boy. Just in time, a friendly waiter comes toward the table with a booster seat for Caillou to sit on. What would you like to eat, Caillou? Let me look, Mommy. Caillou wants to act like a grown-up and opens the menu, too. There are no pictures on his menu, and Caillou is very disappointed. Caillou waits patiently while Mommy orders his favorite spaghetti. so long for the food to come. Caillou gets tired of waiting and wants to get up and move around. Where are you going? Caillou doesn't want to sit anymore. Do you want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Caillou finds a new game. He's having fun drying his hands under the automatic dryer. Caillou runs back to the sink to wash his hands again. Okay, but this is the last time. The waiter comes to the table with all the plates balanced in his arms. Caillou is very impressed. Wow! Mommy and Daddy never do that! Caillou takes a bite of his food and makes a face. It doesn't taste like this at home. Caillou, at least eat some of your dinner, please. Yeah. Caillou isn't hungry anymore. He wants to play under the table. Where is my Caillou? Caillou jumps out from under the table. Caillou, you're supposed to stay in your seat. I don't want to sit anymore. I want to go home. Just then, the waiter comes to the table with a wonderful dessert. Caillou completely forgets about wanting to go home. Yay! I'm hungry! 
hungry! <laughs> Caillou is happy to be eating at the restaurant with Mommy and Daddy. He really feels like a big boy. Caillou was at the supermarket with Mommy. Mommy, can you carry me, please? Caillou, you're a big boy. You can walk by yourself. But I don't feel very well. Caillou started to cry. <laughs> he wasn't feeling very well. Ooh, your forehead is very hot. You might have a fever. Caillou snuggled up to his mommy. Hmm, come on. Let's go home and check your temperature. Caillou was not feeling very well. He had the flu. How do you feel, Caillou? <coughs> My throat hurts. I think we may need to go visit the doctor. No, I don't want to go to the doctor, Mommy. It's always best to visit the doctor when you're ill. They'll make you feel better in no time. Hello there, Caillou. Caillou wanted to stay near Mommy. He was still a little bit scared. So, a little birdie told me you're not feeling so good. Well, I can change that. But first, I need your help. You can use my stethoscope to listen to your Mommy's heartbeat. Caillou had never used a stethoscope. He was amazed. He could hear Mommy's heartbeat. Wow! Very cool, right? Would you like to listen to your own heartbeat? Caillou could hear his own heart. He was really amazed. Now, can I listen? Dr. Rose used the stethoscope to listen to Caillou's heart and lungs. Caillou, I want to look inside your ears now. I'm going to shine this light inside your ear to make sure everything is okay. Are you ready? Don't worry, Caillou. It won't hurt. You can hold my hand if you like. Caillou held Mommy's hand whilst Dr. Rose looked in his ear. Now I want to look at your throat to see if it's red. I need you to open your mouth like this. Ah. Uh... Dr. Rose opened her mouth wide, but Caillou was still a bit worried. Now it's your turn. Caillou opened his mouth wide and stuck his tongue out. Ah! Oh dear, it looks like you have a bad cold, Caillou. Caillou cuddled up to Mommy. He didn't like having a cold. Your Mommy has done a good job taking care of you. Now you need to rest some more and take this medicine. You'll get better in no time. The next day, Caillou was starting to feel a bit better. Mommy brought Caillou a glass of water. But I'm not thirsty. It's important to drink lots of water when you're sick. Are you feeling a bit better now? Let's check your temperature. Oh, Mommy! Caillou, you have to sit still, dear. Caillou couldn't sit still. He wanted to play with his toys. Looks like you're getting a lot better. Caillou wanted to play doctor with his teddy. He pretended to check Teddy's temperature. How is Teddy feeling, Caillou? He's a bit ill, Mommy. I'm going to have to stay here and make sure he gets better. Good idea, Caillou. That's very kind of you. Caillou loved playing doctor with his teddy. He was happy to stay home and make sure Teddy got better.